Uh, number three moment of all time. Oh, the 07 Royal Rumble. Um, when it came down to it, at the final moments, it was uh, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker uh, were the last two guys left. Shawn Michaels wanted to go on to WrestleMania. He wanted to uh, fight for the title. He also wanted to win his third Royal Rumble, which put him in an elite class with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Undertaker was in there. Undertaker wanted to go out there. He had never won a Royal Rumble as well. Oh, well, I apologize, not as well, because I just said the other guy won three. But he had never won a Rumble, and he wanted to put his name on that elite list. And so these guys went at it. Through all the Rumbles I can remember in the history of going back and forth, it normally would come down to, you know, a Final Four moment. Every four guys would uh, back up, and they'd sort of take a, a breather into the corner, and then they would go at it, and it seemed like everybody would eliminate everybody just as fast as they could, and there would be one guy left over. When they were down to the final two in 07, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker basically had a match out there. Uh, these are two guys that we hadn't seen you know, have a match because they had been broken up. One was on Raw, one was on SmackDown. Hell, one was retired. I mean, I, I can't think of them having a match uh, in WWE since basically the Attitude Era when uh, they did the match at the Royal Rumble uh, where Taker threw uh, Shawn Michaels over the top rope and when he came down, his back landed on the... Uh, uh, casket, and that was, you know, basically the end of Shawn Michaels' career until he came back in, in 2002 at uh, SummerSlam. But they basically, those guys went at it back and forth before uh, Taker finally was able to eliminate Shawn Michaels and win the Rumble and go on. And now that seems to be the common thing they do. You can remember Sheamus and Jericho going at it a few years ago where basically... Everyone had predicted Jericho because he had come back. He was going to win the match. And basically, you know, um, Jericho and Sheamus went out there and they had a match for about five minutes where both guys looked like they were going to eliminate the other guy. They did the spot where one guy was on the other side of the ropes and they are you know, beating on him. And then finally, Jericho finally gave in and was eliminated and Sheamus was able to be the winner. Uh, for the number 